What's up guys, it's Austin from Physique Development. I'm here with client Frankie, and we're gonna go over the lateral raise um, with the dumbbells. So how I like to teach it though, is without dumbbells first, because if you can't, the logic behind that is just, if you can't create tension without load, without weight, you have no business adding load or adding weight. So, and that goes with any exercise. So with the lateral raise, with the dumbbell lateral raise, what we want to do is the, the primary focus muscle group there is going to be the side delt, that lateral delt there. So basically, we want that to be on top of the movement. When what I mean by that is, as we set up here, right now, if I just come out straight, my front delt is on top. So what I have to do is I have to hinge at the hip here. So I'm going to hinge at the hip, and then I'm going to internally rotate my arm to make my medial delt, my side delt, be on top of the movement here. So if that makes sense for you guys. So we have to adjust that for Frankie here. So we're gonna get Frankie into that position. So Frankie pulls out, puts out his arms. He's gonna to need to hinge slightly at the hip and slightly rotate his arms. Good, so from that position, we're gonna have Frankie no, stay there, good, stay in that position. We're gonna have Frankie drop his arms to about there. So when you guys have dumbbells in your hand, this is gonna be about the end of your range of motion because if you go any further down, the tension is gonna be lost off your side delts here. So basically from there, what Frankie is thinking about is actually punching the wall over there. He's actually gonna be thinking about pu punching out his fist. So he's punching out his fist, punching out his fist, and that is actually gonna create a massive amount of tension here in his side delt. Can you feel that? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do one or two more reps here, just with no weight. So I really want you guys to be able to create tension on the side delt without dumbbells here. Good, so this is a good point. So Frankie's kind of coming forward here. So we're gonna remind him just to come back. Good. So it's one more, punching out towards the wall, punching out, out, out. So you're thinking out, out, out. You're not thinking up because that gets your traps involved. We're thinking out. Good. The massive amount of tension, that's really hard. It's rock solid right there. So basically what we're gonna do from here is we're going to add, we're gonna add, you good? Can you do it? We're gonna add the dumbbell component here. Um, you guys will notice that's a lot of tension in your side delt just with no weight. So we're gonna keep the same idea so we're thinking out, not up. So out, out, out. Good, right there, massive amount of tension here. Good, and as we come down, I'm gonna stop Frankie slightly short. Good, because we wanna keep tension here. We don't wanna just create momentum and just swing. Good. So back up, create tension, good. Come down a little further this time. Good, now back out. Thinking out, 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 you're not up, out. Good, tension, tension, tension. Good, and the last rep here, I really wanna give you guys another cue. So as Frankie is performing the, the rep, I want Frankie to think about bringing this point on his shoulder up to here. So we're bringing those two points together. So as Frankie goes through this, my fingers should get closer together. Good. And that was the result. So we basically, lengthened delt. As we come up, we have a shortened delt. 